The Order of the Claritians have chosen the Spaniard Jose Maria Abela as superior general for the second time. The order, which started with only five members, was founded in 1849 by Antonio Maria Claret, also from Spain. Today, on its 160th anniversary, some 3,000 priests and laypeople make up the order. During the general chapter meeting that takes place every six years, representatives of the order analyze their current situation and the challenges they face. One of the more important ones will be continuing to develop projects in Europe and North America with less Claritians. It's about a missionary presence that helps bring forward the questions that are in people's hearts. Maybe they really don't expect ready-made answers, so to speak, but instead a help in rediscovering those deeper questions on life. And for the missionary, that means having patience to respond to those questions. But in Africa, where the number of Claritians is on the rise, the situation is much more different. Here, the order is centered around accompanying and forming new members. In South America and some parts of Asia, the order makes an effort to offer the means necessary so people can live with dignity. In some cases, Claritians interact with communities that don't know about Christianity. According to Jose Maria, the challenge here is being sensitive to other cultures and religions. Getting close to young people and responding to the questions they have is another one of the Claritians' worries. Lo fundamental es saber estar con the basic thing is being with them and having fun with them. Without this attitude, without this closeness, and without this disposition to accept and offer friendship, it's impossible to enter into dialogue. It also means being very clear about why we are there. We're not trying to fool anyone. We're there because we believe in Jesus, because we know that the gospel is an important message for their lives, and we want to offer that to them. The lives of many Claritians has been marked by persecutions and martyrs. The founder himself had his life threatened when he was Archbishop of Cuba, and in 1929 they were expelled from China. John Paul II beatified 51 Claritians that were killed in the Spanish Civil War. The last to be beatified was Andres Sola, a Mexican who was killed in the Philippines. In these parts of the world where conflict is very much alive, the missionaries know that they're risking their lives. What's great is to see them work with generosity, very conscious of what could happen to them, and not always without taking unnecessary risks. The Claritian priests will celebrate this year for priests in a very special way, by remembering their founder who never waited for people to come to him, but rather went to the people himself.